Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Time Pants, and today we are at the beginning of a new journey. This is a challenge idea that was submitted by our longtime viewer here, and it will be. A new game plus done entirely in the dark. So, enjoy. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. All right. I will never get tired of that. That is, it's just a great intro. Like, doesn't that get you pumped for, for like the journey ahead? Just, man, it takes me back to when I first fired this up. It's just... I still get I still get the tingles in my buttocks. I, it's that it's that good. No, but seriously though, let's let's get a move on here. Um, hmm, this is a bit troubling. Okay, thank goodness. I mean, seriously, it's two two dudes. It's not that strenuous. Gosh, I um. All right, first off. Just need to set this here so I can well struck. hear myself back. Victory. That's probably good for now. All right, so we are venturing out in darkness, and that starts right the F now. So let's see what the darkness holds. All right, cool. I'm glad that they do let you, like, kill the torchlight early on. Although, this is a brilliant bit of teaching the game, because they don't give you any torches early on, right? So as you move, you are going to see, like, the light start to draw down. And it's just a handy little bit of information that they give you right off the bat. Like, hey, you know, this is, this is a mechanic of the game. You notice how, uh-uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Fuck you. I'll see you, man. But, yeah, like... An ambush. This is a, a really, really good tutorial right dungeon, returned, I think. And they are kind mm, I don't know if we want to no do this. Welcome. Because, yeah, you get to see, you know, some curios will fuck you up, some chests will fuck you up. Um, it's just... Yeah, very, very educational, and as a former teacher myself, I appreciate that. So, time to quit Jibber John and let's figure out what we're going to do here. Okay. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to try this. We're going to tracking shot him. And we're going to get the buff. Uh, it's not nearly as much damage as I had hoped. Please don't, please don't move. Okay. Stunning blow, and all right. So let's. We're not gonna get this guy with one more pistol shot. So let's do a grape shot blast. Ugh. That's not really good either. Okay. I. <laughs> I don't want anyone to die, like, really early on. That would be, like, super embarrassing. So, let's not let that happen. Oh god, that was very lucky, and we're probably... I don't think we have to eat after this, because I don't think that there's any more fighting to do. 
And we are very lucky that we didn't get a crit. Hmm. Like, I am not impressed with my behavior so far at all. Like, I have not handled this fight very well. Like, a, a Stoon here, and we have the... I probably should have just swung. Good lord. Okay, so... Not off to a good start. Really, really fucking up here. And... Yeah, let's let's end this like now. -ish. Woof! All right. Let's um, let's pretend that didn't happen. And is that always trapped? That would unchecked. be another good there lesson. But yeah, that uh, is not not the best tutorial run that I've had. But all in all, not too deleterious. So. Mm. By the way, I think that would be a really good rapper name, Deleterious. Shit. Yeah, I, Welcome I missed home, my calling. Such as it is. All right, let's get this going here. I think you always get the same two recruits. Lions. Yes, you do. The classic. They are yours now, and you are bound and to them. how are we looking here? Women and men, soldiers. As and long as we have disorienting blast and. Corpses. and yeah, blinding gas. Will find their way we to are fine with our plague end. doctor. Wow, we got a soft party. Hmm. And I think one thing that we do need to be kind of concerned about is any like negative quirks that like affect like that specifically affect behavior in darkness. I think we Knowing how we're going to be playing, we a have to. Of madness and more yeah, we have to, to manage those Your quickly. Work begins. All right, do we have enough that we can upgrade the stagecoach here? I think this has got to be a priority. Three and Great heroes four. Can okay. Be found even here, so we are good. Let's just get these off the screen. They're distracting. In time, you will so know the here's what I'm most worried about. Are you ready? Feelings. What I'm most worried about is. I am Most not sure up here, covered that... in poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Yeah, I'm I am not sure that the end of the game is going to be the biggest the concern for us. I mean, obviously things just gold, keep getting harder and they culminate with uh, you know, capital T, capital D, capital D, the darkest dungeon. But yeah, I am not sure that hmm. Not sure that that's going to be the hard part because early on where we don't have a lot of trinkets i mean we still have to manage the darkness i don't think we even mess with the torch here yeah i think we call this good yeah i think we're going to be at our most fragile very early on because with new game plus putting a, a death clock that you have to manage on the game like all of a sudden it yeah, it does make things a lot more a lot more dire. Oh, I remember. Darkness closes in. All right. So lots of men. I've been living in this uh, new apartment here for about like three and a half, four if months. Only treasure could staunch the flow of and other there's corruption. like recently been a car parked like illegally in front of our apartment for like the past four days. And it started raising some interesting questions, like specifically, where is the driver? Um, is she dead? Like, how long has she been dead? How did she die? Do they have any suspects? Did I hide the evidence well enough? Like, all of these are pressing questions that are just, uh, hmm. You know, inquiring minds want to know. But, like, that's weird, right? Like, it started to accumulate tickets, and nobody's, like, come around to claim it. Like, is this cheating, by the way? Like, doing this? Is this is this against the spirit of, of the challenge? Because, I mean, I have no control over this. I'm trying, man. I am trying to... I probably could have moved, too, huh? I am trying to, like, manage my shit here and not not move in in the light but i don't have a choice in in fights like this i mean in a way that's an advantage but oh my god 
in a way that's an advantage, but I don't I don't want to be that guy who like violates the spirit and the sanctity of the run by using techniques that like enhance the light. Press this, advantage. this is fine, right? Give them this no is fine. Quarter. Because at the end we're going to kill the torches and Yeah, let's do it. A fortune waiting. And it's all legit, spent. right? I don't I don't know the official rules here. I don't know if I'm if I'm violating the Queensbury rules if I'm not playing according Even to Hoyle or other metaphors. But um, like, let me tell you something. Like, maybe this is weird, but with that, hmm. yeah, with that car like parked in front of our in front of our apartment like that, it's kind of. Reminded me of something that happened back when I was in high school. Now this is not like a funny story. This is actually kind of horrifying, in like, in kind of like, like a funny-ish way, in like the most horrifying way possible. So please don't misinterpret me here. Um, but when I was back in high school, I was going to a buddy's birthday. I was like carpooling with another dude, As the fiend falls, and a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, I was carpooling with another dude, and, like, we, I think this is fine, we came up on this intersection, like, we were turning off the highway, and there was, like, this overpass, it was over, like, a really busy intersection, and, like, as we turned off of it, there were these two homeless dudes who were, like, kind of pushing and shoving, and at the time, I was like, oh, you know, they're playing around. You know, they're just, you know, either they're they're having Another a bit of an ar argument, a bit of an alter altercation, just getting a little rough, or, you know, maybe they're playing around. I don't know. And while we're sitting there waiting at the red light, there is just sort of an escalation. And all of a sudden, this guy bends down and grabs, like, one of the homeless dudes bends down and grabs the other dude by the legs and just dumps him over the rail, like, in, into the overpass below. And we were all like, holy shit, like, what the fuck? And then he, like, bends down and picks up this sign and he looks at me as he holds the sign up and it says, I swear, hand to God, stranded, need help. And then, like, just at that moment, the light turned, and we're like, fuck, dude, just book it, let's go. Like, this was before cell phones were really, like, common. So, like, <laughs> we didn't have a way of, like, you know, contacting anybody or, like, calling for help or anything like that. Neither of us had one, because I'm old. So, yeah, we just were, like, the entire rest of the drive were like, fuck. Oh God, Jesus! Like, what did we see? What just happened? Like, I feel like a piece of shit because probably the right thing to do was, you know, something. But yeah, we were both just too, too shocked to like even react. Like, you know, how do you even handle that? Is this going well? I would submit that it is. Okay, so one person told me that I have been using my my highwaymen all wrong, that I need to be... Don't ever give me advice again. <laughs> uh, no, they said that like, I have been managing my... Of gold. My highwaymen all wrong that they need to be like using a, what is it like okay can we talk about this yeah they need to be using like duelist advance more I was just I didn't know that's is that broken. like is that really good is like that's kind of news to me but I am going to try it I'm I'm actually going to try using a I'm actually going to try using a party that 
that kind of capitalizes on that um, that interaction a bit more. And they said stop using the buckle because, like, even though the buckle gives him good buffs to like his his damage output with with the guns, apparently highwaymen are, are pretty handy with a knife. Really. That's fun. No, that's that's awesome. I'm really stoked about that. Shit. All right. So I guess that's gonna be the new hotness from now on. Is we're just gonna try and try and run a little different parties than we had been. I I mean, clearly what we had been doing worked, and it worked very well. I mean, we we won new game plus and. Should we have? I think we probably, I think we probably deserved a, that win. It might not have been the cleanest, but I think it was. It was not. It was not the ugliest way to to win a game of the darkest dungeon. So I, yeah, I, I don't think that there was anything like I am feeling. I'm feeling good. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I don't think there's anything like inherently wrong with how we. Yeah, how we ran the last party, but, you know, now that it's a challenge run, now that I've won my first New Game Plus, I feel like the pressure's off a little bit, I don't really have to bust my ass quite so hard, I don't have to feel like I've got something to prove, I, I proved what I needed to prove, you, you all need to prove to me that I need to follow your instructions. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, now now that we've we've got a win, like a solid win under our belt, a W with a capital W, like I think we can play, you know, we can play a little silly. We don't have to always play perfectly optimally. Oh my God. How fast are you? Seven. Seven versus two. One. Yeah, probably not. I think we got a heal. Damn! Lowers! Alright, am I nervous? I am getting a little nervous. Play grenade. Soaring blast. Shit, man, I think we gotta. Hopefully. Okay, I was gonna say, hopefully we don't shuffle him back to rank 2, because I think in rank 2 he can still fight somewhat effectively. So. Let's do. this. Continually and unsport. then Grape Shot Destroy Blast takes one down. Or Dazzling light on you. Okay, I think we've got this handle. I think we've got this handle. Yeah, we're just gonna take this down. So, has anybody ever thought about like how weird English slang is? Like, I know as like an as an ESL teacher, it's very common to see people struggling with with English with language. It's English is weird. You know, it's kind of a it's kind of a bastard child of a whole lot of different languages. Like, you know, it's it's got some Germanic uh, it's got some you know, Germanic roots. It's got you know, some romance language roots. It's got the roots like the, the band. Um, it's got tree roots. Hair roots. But yeah, I mean, it comes from a lot of different languages. Like, there's inspiration from, like, even Scandinavian languages. Like the word "muggy," apparently that that comes from uh, it's Scandinavian or yeah, the Scandinavian inspiration. So there's a or in influence if you want to speak accurately. Um, so yeah, I I know. English is, is hard as hell to learn. Like, defo, it is really, really tricky. And anybody who, like, 
learns English to mastery, like, you have got my eternal respect and admiration, because that shit is hard. But, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that when I say that, like, English is weird. But, like, English slang doesn't even have, like, internal consistency. Like, what do I mean by that? Okay. So if somebody is talking about their package, right? And if they're talking about their box, like, why do those mean the same thing logistically, but not anatomically, right? That's weird. I feel like, like your package and your box, those should be one and the same. We fucked up. Oh boy. We really fucked up. Whoops. All right, let's get this shit handled. Um, you know? Let's see, how far? We can only move back one. Back one. Up one. And we have not solved any problems yet. I wish this would show you, like, how... Like, their movement. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. I felt like it was worth a try. Like, lowering his damage is good. Lowering his accuracy is probably even better than good. But, we gotta get this shit handled. Like this, this could potentially be a catastrophe. Okay, there we go, that's actually fine. That is actually, no, that's not fine at all. What am I talking about? That is terrible. And he can only move up one. Hmm, this, this is gonna be the round we have to survive. I really should have bought Holy Lance before I came out here. And... Please... Ah, shit. I think this is probably our biggest threat because we are going to win this fight, but the damage to our stress is what we're really going to be carrying from one leg of the dungeon to another. The stun sucks, but... At least we can make use of our heaviest hitter. Are you shitting me? Are you actually shitting on my dick? A decisive okay. Bubbling. I think he has to use stab here. Okay, so accuracy, definitely something we gotta work on. Okay, yeah, he's gotta use bayonet jab, so we are fine. This is managed. It might suck a little bit. It sucks a fair bit, but it is managed. God damn. Okay, okay. Hmm. I think we have to stun because I don't think we have anybody who can get a kill next round. Shit, this did not go well. Probably, probably should have cut my losses. Like, that was... This treasure had better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. This treasure better be real, real good. God damn. This is like the worst day of my life. I'm only like two thirds of the way joking. I think we gotta try. Like, ugh. He needed incision. Please, thank you. Thank you, that actually was big. And I don't think we bother, let's just finish this off. That was not, okay. That was not a good way, that was not okay. And that was not a good way to round out the first dungeon crawl. Everybody's stress is real bad, so let's hope we get some good heroes. And let's see who it is we're gonna be working with. What is that, fat tire? Yeah, that is good stuff. All right. Everybody leveled, that's good. Well, everybody who needed it leveled. Oh, good. Well, not the best 
first I run I've ever had. When the sun shone and laughter could okay. be heard from the tavern. Stress relief. Yeah, we're probably gonna need the that. Cobwebs have been like, the pews set straight. In the all honesty, if Libor can be replaced with fresh pegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. I kinda like that. I mean, obviously we gotta get battlefield medicine, but kinda like that. Slugger is pretty worthless. Lazy eyes a deal breaker. I don't think we can I don't think we can suffer the the loss of what am I trying to say here? Yeah, I don't think we can suffer the loss of, of the accuracy. Like that's just too much too much of a sore spot right now. So hmm. No, you know what? No, Liborg, kick rocks. You're out. Slumped shoulders. We are still like this is what week two. Gate. We can afford to be a little bit. This one is no more good to us. A little bit adventurous here. Lores is the real, real scary proposition to bring out here. And let's see where we're going next time. Ah, more ruins. Okay, medium, medium. Terrible. Not really feeling anything here, but okay. We'll probably do a medium next time, but that's going to be next time. Money situation, not bad for a start. Really just, uh, yeah, just one sore spot to speak of, but it's really sore. Anyway, thank you very much for watching The, the Darkening Estate, and I'll see you next time.